Hey guys, it's Bethany with ABQ Creations here with another tutorial for you. I don't share too much of my personal life on here, but a couple of months back my dad had passed away unexpectedly, and I've been looking for ways to kind of keep his memory alive and different things that I can do um, for my kids. My kids needed to make some magnets for their lockers, and I thought this would be a great tutorial for you. Um, one of the things that we did was we used old pictures of my dad. Uh, another great way to do this is you can draw pictures and then punch them out and put them on. I would recommend that you use colored pencil though instead of markers. Um, crayons will also work, but they'll be a little bit bigger and harder to work with. Um, just because then if you use markers, they have a tendency to bleed uh, after you add the glaze on. Okay, so for this project, here's what you'll need. You will need diamond glaze, a one inch hole punch, some pictures to use or something you colored, something that will fit within the one inch hole punch space. These pressed bottle caps, you can get all different kinds of colors online and I will link to them down below. Magnets, these are super strong. You'll have a heck of a time trying to get them apart. They come like this. So to get them off, I find it's easier just to kind of slide them. <laughs> That's how strong they are. They just fly right back. An E6000 industrial strength adhesive. I will warn you though, if you have allergies or if you're very sensitive to very strong, potent fumes, um, you might want to be out in the open when you work with this um, or have a well-ventilated area. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we want to do is we want to cut out our our picture. Now, I have this one that I'm going to use of my dad. I like this. I can easily access it from the side, and I'm going to turn this upside down. I'm just going to locate where I want to punch out and line it up, and then pop it and now that's all set to go and if I want I can go back in and try to cut closer and get some of my kids now if you have a picture like this where he's kind of in the middle and you can't access it then what you'll have to do because it would it would cut off I would want it centered a little bit more so what I'd have to do on this picture is I could cut a line here and then I'd be able to access it from the side and get right over his face so just keep that in mind with your pictures Okay, so now I have my picture. What I need to do is I need to take my diamond glaze, and you want to make sure that you do not shake this up. You don't want any air bubbles. I might have to break open the seal again with my needle here, but I will see. Nope, still liquid. Okay, so you're going to kind of spread a little bit. Um, I put a decent amount. Pictures are pretty thick, and I want it to hold on to it. I don't want it going anywhere. So I just kind of lightly coat the bottom and then I'm going to place the picture right down inside of it and I probably put just a little more than I needed to but that's okay because I'm going to fill it over the top. So now I'm going to take my glaze once I press that down and I feel like it's secure. I'm going to take my glaze and you don't want air bubbles. I will show you what happens if you get a bunch of air bubbles and let it dry. We're just going to kind of give a healthy amount. One thing you're going to notice with this is it looks kind of like a milky white as it's when you first um, put it on. But I'll show you what it'll look like once it's dry. So really that's all you need to do, but you can see I have right here you can see I have this air bubble, so I definitely want to take care of that. I don't want to have any air bubbles in my project. So I'm just going to take um, a safety pen. You can kind of use whatever you want. And I'm just going to kind of um, get those bubbles out. So if I see any, I'm going to just try to pop them. Like so. So now what I need to do is set this aside and let it dry for about a half hour. I, I give it an hour just to be on the safe side. So you can work up a whole bunch of these at once. So once that's complete, 
we move our project aside and I have one all ready dry and ready to go. So this is what it'll look like after it's dry. The milkiness has kind of gone and you can see how clear the picture is and really nice quality. Kind of looks like it's got glass over it. The nice thing about this glaze is it protects the picture too so if it gets wet then you don't have to worry about it ruining the picture. It's not going to destroy it. It kind of seals it in there and keeps it safe. So very cool stuff. All right, now we're going to apply our magnet. So in order to put our magnet on the back, and you're going to love these magnets. They are the best magnets I've ever had on my fridge. So what we need to do is we're going to use our E6000 glue. And I have to take off one of these. If you're doing a whole bunch of these, your hand will hurt by the end of it. Okay. So now we're going to adhere this onto the back. So I am going to just use a very tiny bit. You're going to notice, guys, when you use this, that the slightest bit of pressure will make it continue to come out. So you don't need much pressure at all to make it come out. It will have to get started, but I don't want to. Okay, so it's already starting. I'm going to back off a little bit. Okay. So just a little bit of pressure and not much, you don't need much. That's more than enough. And for my tip, you'll notice I have stuff on there. I, I read a tip on putting some Vaseline on the threads inside the cap. So I highly recommend that. It helps to keep it from getting glued shut so I can continue to use this awesome product to make these in the future. So this, this dries fairly quickly, but you do have a little bit of play time with it. So. Okay, now I just have to place it down and it'll automatically fall on it and want to stay because it's a magnet. And I just kind of move it to the center and now we just kind of set it aside like this and that's it. One thing to keep in mind guys is just keep them apart. You don't want it clapping together like that while they're drying. If they're right next to each other they're going to be attracted to each other because they are magnets. So just make sure that you don't do that. Other than that, you should be all right. Just keep it, just give it a few inches of space. So that's all there is to these magnets. It takes, again, about another half hour before these are cured, and then they're all set to go. Um, they're really great options if you have different pictures you want to do. We've done them in the past for a baby shower. We had pictures of cupcakes on it because there was like a cupcake, the cupcake theme to the baby shower. Um, so you can do all kinds of fun stuff with it. They really are great gifts. And they're really just great mementos to have of loved ones. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think of this tutorial and what you think of these magnets. If you would please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all my current projects. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful day.